I know. You already saw this image. You know perfectly what this is. This is global warming. But do you really know what global warming is? Global warming is a phenomenon, also called a climate change, uh, climate change, climate warming or overheating, which indicates the change in the uh, planet's climate, and more precisely, the abrupt rise in the Earth's temperature that has developed since the 19th century and is still ongoing. In, in the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC definition. Since the Industrial Revolution, the humanity has become highly dependent from fossil fuels. By this, the levels of CO2 in the air have increased strongly. With this, the overheating of the planet has become uh, a big problem, and uh, by this, uh, there have been uh, catastrophic events and uh, extreme uh, climatic uh, events that have uh, damaged a lot to the biodiversity and the ecosystems. Global warming will have some consequences on, um, on every human being and uh, on the, in, in, and in all the planet. By this, the NASA, sta the NASA states that uh, from the uh, 1880 uh, Industrial Revolution, there has the, the temperature medium of the planet has increased by one degree nearly. Now you might wonder, wonder uh, one degree is just uh, one degree. It cannot really change something. It will not have negative consequences. It's here where the, the majority of the population is wrong. Let me explain. The biggest scientists on the planet uh, predicted that if we continue like this, without uh, acting uh, positively for, uh, for the fight against climate change, there will be widespread irreversible and uh, negative effects on our planet, such as ice melting and uh, extreme, um, extreme uh, natural events who will uh, highly damage our um, ecosystems and biodiversity. At this rate, the sea level will uh, increase by nearly a meter. And uh, you might always say, well, it's only one meter of water, what can we possibly do? It's here again that people underestimate climate change. A meter of water would put uh, under the water the entire state of Florida, who actually is home for millions of people, and uh, for big cities like uh, Miami. But not only, think about the Fiji Islands. Paradise like this, will be completely lost underwater. This is only the beginning. Think about Bangladesh, who owns a home for millions and hundreds of billions of people, would be also um, much part under the water. But not only think about uh, Venice or New York, our important cities, also them would be completely surrounded by water. And this is only the beginning, as I mentioned before. Not only, think about the incredible extreme uh, phenomena that will uh, uh, roughly hurt the, the, the biodiversity. Also, think about the European states that will be really subjected to the increase of temperature. Many of them would become more African than European. Uh, some of the most subject subjected are Italy. By 2100, the Padano Valley, where I live, the specific of Milan, um, would reach uh, 8 degrees Celsius more in the summer specifically. It would reach in the summer so 50 degrees Celsius, the actual temperature of uh, the Pakistan, where millions of people suffer every summer for the too high temperatures, making the peninsula more, much more uh, African than European. But this is only the beginning, because uh, think about uh, all the animals that will suffer and um, have to move their um, normal habits to other places. But not only, not only. Think also about the immigration, because uh, many places will not be any more uh, accessible. As, so and, uh, and the people who used to live there need uh, to change home. This would bring to an, uh, a great poverty.
What a dreadful future. But this future will be only available if we don't do nothing by leaving the situation as it stands for today. This is why I ask you to fight against climate change, to fight against global warming. How can you fight against global warming? There are different strategies that you can use to, to help the situation and decrease the CO2 emissions. Starting from uh, uh, planting trees, you can plant trees in your garden or next to your home or even in your balcony. Planting trees is essential because trees uh, retain the CO2 inside their body. And this would be really useful for reducing the emissions of the CO2. Do not use single transports and use uh, and do not use plane. Use uh, public uh, public transports that uh, could reduce uh, a lot the use the, the CO2 emissions by uh, by going on one car instead of um, thousands. Moreover, don't waste water. Make sure that the taps are not leaking water because it will become a really research resource if we continue with uh, climate change like this. As Bill Gates says, the choices that we decide to take today will decide whether the future, gen the next generation will be able to lead a healthy and regular life or will have to deal with um, the negative effects and the problems that global warming will cause. Thank you for your attention.